De La Wright, my envy this. Welcome. It is indeed said that no matter how one treats a sleeping child, when that child wakes up, the child will go straight to look for the mother. Report reaching us right now is that Oni of Ife went back to Akure to beg Olori Naomi. Remember after the banquet where he had a lot of things to do, he left. Everything upon hearing that Naomi had returned back to Nigeria to celebrate the birthday with her mother, they said Oni left everything and went straight to Akure. Now, uh, he was very excited to have seen Naomi. They said, in fact, when he got to Akure, they said Tade Nikawo was sleeping. As soon as he heard Tade Nikawo was sleeping, he did not ask for Tade Nikawo again until he left that place. So all this Tade Nikawo, Tade Nikawo thing has to do with Olori Naomi and has nothing to do with Tade Nikawo. But then again... I'm going to give you one gist that will surprise you right now. They, we heard as it is alleged and rumored and making the rounds on social media that the only of if, uh, uh, was explaining to Olori Naomi that the um, reason why, because Olori Naomi had asked him why, like, why are you still coming for me? You have six wives already. You are bringing in four more wives. What is this thing about me that is so special that even after marrying these women with all the qualification in the world, you will not let me be? I'm not asking for too much. I am only asking for you to let me go. Free me, let me go. I'm already living my life. I'm already enjoying my life, but you need to free me and so I can go. They said, Kabiesi said no, that he was not going to free Naomi. But when Olori Naomi asks of um, the a new wife that he's about to bring in now, they said the only of Ife had started explaining to Olori Naomi that the reason why he is um, interested in Metete is not just because um, of anything that Naomi remains the love of his life, but he is going for Metete. The reason is because he is bent on helping his people. He is a public servant. Um, the gods chose him for the people of Yoruba across the globe. That um, um, that Metete's position as a um, minister in Canada is going to help him a lot. That he is interested in Metete because he wants to join forces with Metete to free um, um, Yoruba's inmates in Canada and send them all home, that a lot of Yoruba uh, people, young people are stuck in prison in Canada. Are you hearing me? That time and time again, uh, mm -hmm. parents have come to meet him to try and see what they can do to send their uh, children home, children who have been incarceration uh, 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 for one reason or the other, young children, especially those who actually left Nigeria and went to Canada to school and then did something wrong, they were caught and, you know, uh, sentenced um, to, you know, prison. And right now that he, um, Oni Ife said he is um, that leader that doesn't just think about himself. He thinks about himself and his people, that he is doing everything that is within his power to ensure that he is able to bring the Yoruba sons and daughters that are locked up or stuck in prison in Canada. He's, he wants to bring them back. And that uh, Ola Dumare has given him the opportunity to do that by bringing Metete to him. So he's going to join forces with Metete to bring all of these people from Canada back home. Okay? And so that's the reason why he is interested in Metete. <laughs> oh, Ma, it's not that small something, no. Oh, Lori Nami will have to sacrifice for everybody and sacrifice for the sons and daughters of the entire Odua uh, people. Apparently, that is what the only of Ife wants Olori Nami to understand. Now, they said he is saying to Olori Nami to understand his plight, understand that he is king, and that. Ola, Ola Dumare did not make him king just for fancy. Ola Dumare made him king for a reason. That 
this opportunity was presented to him to help the people of um, the Yoruba people, especially those who are stuck in um, prison, different prisons right there in Canada. So he's going to you. So you see, this is um, the explanation they say he gave to um, uh, Olori Naomi. Then they said Olori Nami asked him, how about others? Because it's not only Metrete that is coming in. There are a lot of other women that are coming in. And there are six women in the palace. So what um, is KBSC expecting her to do? To sit back there, to write off her life together with whatever vows that she made with KBSC, just because KBSC is a public servant, because KBSC wants to solve this problem and that problem, that she has the right to decide to be there and not be there. And now she's deciding she doesn't want to be there. She does not want to be that vessel that will be used for this purpose. She wants to go. She has her own Aaron, God brought her here for a purpose. She has got her own purpose. That, you know, being married to the only of Ife is almost making her lose her purpose, but she's going back to that purpose for which God has called her to come on earth to deliver. And Kabiasi needs to free her. That this thing that Kabiasi is always talking about love, I love Olori Nami, I love Olori Nami, that there is nothing like love. And besides, even if Kabiasi is still claiming that uh, he loves her, that he doesn't feel that way for KBAC anymore. They said they had this conversation. KBAC told Naomi that he has never loved any woman the way he has loved Naomi. He wants Naomi to stay and that he is going to have a meeting with Naomi's family, that um, there are things that he needs to talk to them privately about that... um, um, that they do not understand. Naomi needs to stay with him. Naomi has to stay with him. If Naomi is not with him, he does not know how he will cope. He does not know how he will manage. That there are a lot of things that Naomi represents in his life, even though he is well aware that Naomi does not know. That it would have just been easy for him to say, let Naomi go. But unfortunately, it's not that easy because of the things that Naomi represents in his life. You see why I keep saying that? KBSC may care about Naomi, but one thing that I also know or believe, I believe that KBSC wants to be with Naomi and KBSC wants to be with other Oluris, other wives, okay? There might be one, two, three reasons. There's always a reason for any everything. But Naomi also has the right to decide that, look, I am not going to stay. I want to get out. Um, you know, you cannot force, impose something on a, a person which that person does not want or believe in. Like Nami said it's very, as in it's so simple. She said she does not like crowd. And this is more than crowd for anybody, for anybody whatsoever. And that is why Nami is insisting that she gets this freedom and so she can go. They say KBSC explained and explained and was begging and begging. So invariably, what KBSC wants now is for Nami to stay. Whether they are 180 wives, Nami needs to stay there and, you know, just roll with. Because it does seem as if he does not have the, um, I don't know, he doesn't have that, he cannot let Nami go, but he cannot let go of other wives also, this is what we are hearing. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Do not forget, these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media.